Hey guys, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. Today, we are talking about how magnesium is used to beat migraines and headaches and what the studies have shown. So, first things first, magnesium is absolutely, it's a crucial mineral. It has been found that 70, 75% of Americans do not meet their daily intake of magnesium. It is huge. And it has actually been shown that migraine sufferers have even higher deficiency levels than just the normal population. So it's really, really critical that you get your magnesium levels uh, kind of topped up. But it's, it's involved in 300 different enzyme reactions in the body. So it's in everything. It is uh, an abundant mineral in the body. It should be abundant. And it's involved in everything, which I'll get into. But Blood testing can only find around 3% of actual um, total body magnesium. So it's not very representative of how much magnesium we, we do or don't have. So blood tests aren't very good for it. Some of the systems that magnesium can sort of improve help that it's needed in are blood sugar regulation, brain metabolism, um, digestive, digestive function, you know, keeping hydration in the gut. Um, as a muscle relaxant, it's, we, we all know how important it is uh, to keep those neck and shoulder muscles relaxed uh, in your blood pressure as well as circulation and sleep. To give you a good night's sleep, you need magnesium. So in one study uh, where a doctor was using, Dr. Klaus was using IV magnesium sulfate, he actually had a 97.5% success rate, which is absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. Nothing else compares. Um, in another study with 600 milligrams of a supplement, magnesium supplement, which is a very high dose, generally, 42% um, there was a 42% reduction in the frequency of attacks, of migraine attacks. So it's really big. And another study actually found that migraine or that magnesium should be recommended in all cases of migraines because number one, it's a very safe mineral to take. If you take too much of it, you'll just, you'll have diarrhea. Um, it's very safe to take and it has a really good sort of uh, spectrum of, of, of efficiency and use, and it's vital to so many different processes in the body. Um, so I'll link those studies in the description. But we wanna understand how we can take it. So the, the most common way to take magnesium is in a supplement through a pill. Um, so some people will start at 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, they'll work their way up. Uh, you just want to make sure that on the ingredients that it says elemental magnesium. That's the amount of actual magnesium molecules that are in there. And you, it's better to stick with a chelated um, as opposed to a, a citrate. Uh, you want to stick with something like a glycinate or a threonate or a taurate. Then there's the IV. This has been incredibly successful, but again, you have to go to a doctor or a nurse to get an IV, to get a magnesium IV. Then topically, so it's been found that uh, magnesium absorbs very well through the, through the skin, actually better than through the gut. So transdermal magnesium may be a good idea. So you can get like a magnesium chloride spray, which can be found on Amazon um, and apply it topically. But same thing with baths. So you can just add the, the most common thing and we know how important it is to kind of take some time for self-care. So during your self-care, you can make an Epsom salt bath and Epsom salt is actually magnesium sulfate. So you can make an Epsom salt bath and your body will absorb magnesium through that bath, through your skin transdermally. The next thing is food. Obviously, we wanna make sure that our food, our diet is solid. It has to be solid. Um, if we want to deal with chronic pains. And so we want to stick with, with vegetables, lots of vegetables and nuts and seeds are very high in minerals like magnesium. So we want to make sure we, we have enough of those in our diet. Then the next thing, the, the final thing is hydration. So we can hydrate with 
uh, minerals. It's, it's really important to make sure that the, the water that we're drinking has minerals because water that doesn't have minerals doesn't get absorbed. You'll notice if you drink a lot of straight water, you'll start peeing a lot. That's because your body can't take it in, it can't use it, and it just starts peeing it out. And so part of sort of migraines brain metabolism is the balance of minerals in the brain. So we wanna make sure that we're getting lots of minerals and there's products like the salt stick caps, which I'll link to in the description, um, that can be really a, a help, a big help. Some people will just take electrolytes. Some people will take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of sea salt and water and mix that together and that'll provide enough minerals and enzymes and vitamins and kind of balance out that water so that it's better absorbed. If you want more information about magnesium glycinate and how to kind of use it for and how to use magnesium in general um, with migraines, I'm going to link to an article I wrote in the description and if you are looking for some magnesium glycinate, I'll link, link it in the description. Hey, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left corner so that others can find this information as well. If you want to learn more about migraines than you've ever known before and how to deal with them, make sure to go to our website. Thanks.